Hi, welcome to another Photolink video. Uh, this one is going to be on combining images for greater depth of field. Uh, if you take a look at the image here of the flowers, you'll notice that some flowers are in focus and other focus or other flowers are out of focus. What we're going to do is we're going to explore techniques. Uh, this one is with uh, Combined ZP. Uh, it's a software, it's a public domain software program that allows us to take multiple images that um, um, are focused at various points in the image and combine them together so that the entire image appears as if it was a single shot and was taken in focus. Here is the uh, same scene after the images have been combined and if you'll notice um, the near flower through the flowers all the way through virtually what appears to be infinity are in sharp focus. This can be extremely valuable if you're in scenes like this where um, you know short focus photography is very short on depth of field and uh, also in scenes like uh, this one where you have uh, foreground objects like these trees and uh, you have uh, objects uh, that would not fall into the focal range of the uh, lens or the depth of field of lens that you want to employ. Here we can have the trees and uh, the boats and the uh, object in the far distance all in focus by combining images. It's a very valuable technique. Please do not judge my photographic ability on these images, but they're just here for um, example only. The uh, technique is basically to um, mount your camera on a tripod and uh, basically compose your scene. Um, it's best if you've got one available to use a remote shutter release and uh, the first thing that you do is you focus on the nearest object that you want to be in focus as we've done here with the near flowers. Take a look how the near flowers are in focus and the other fl flowers are out of focus. After focusing on this uh, near object, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to focus into the scene either one or several times, but focus on objects in the middle or like let's say you can break the scene up to thirds or quarters, but focus into an object towards the middle of the scene as we have done here. Then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to focus on a far object. So what we're basically doing is all of our depths of field become additive. So what we're doing first is we're focusing near, uh, mid, and now here we're focusing on far objects. What we have to do, if at all possible, is to um, isolate subject motion. Um, if you'll take a look at this image, here's one after it was processed, and if you'll notice, um, you get blurring on some of the objects if you have, um, uh, you know, the object motion. To get the uh, most out of this lesson, uh, what you need to do is uh, download the software. It's called Combine ZP. It's an image stacking software by Alan uh, Hadley in the UK. And it can be downloaded at the following uh, URL. Now what you need to do is take your camera, go out and find something like the flowers picture, where uh, what you would like to do is you would like to have near um, uh, objects recorded with the same degree of focus as far objects are. And um, after this software is uh, downloaded, uh, then what we can do is we can uh, go through the uh, thing together. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to go out, get your camera, and take um, three pictures. What you'll do is you'll set your uh, DSLR or your camera, if you're using a point-and-shoot, on uh, manual focus. And the first thing that you'll want to do is focus at the beginning of the scene, take a shot, 
focus on the middle of the scene, probably several times, take those shots, and focus at the uh, far end of the scene uh, where you want your final depth of field to apply, and uh, take that shot. After you've taken those shots, uh, then what we'll do is uh, we'll be ready to begin. So uh, please uh, visit my site, www.photolink.com, for uh, more tutorials and uh, more about your camera. So let's uh, get ready to uh, proceed into the next lesson, which will be um, image stacking or image combining uh, through um, Combine ZP, and uh, we'll uh, be able to use it from that point. Thank you.